What's good, YouTube? Hope you all enjoyed the tournament stream yesterday. We're back here today with another episode of What Are They Cooking? The series where we go over all the spicy audience replays that you guys send in, starting off today with a, a pretty crazy one, as we usually like to do. But before we get into it, let me remind you, if you have a replay that you think is cool, you can post it in the Discord in the description in the Edison Format Replays channel. Now, I mentioned this was a cool one, and uh, you can definitely already see what's going on here. This man is playing... Uh, Cyber Dragon OTK, Chimera Tech OTK, whatever you want to call it. Um, so on, like, the full Power Bond, Limiter Removal stuff, where, uh, I mean, this deck can be crazy scary, actually, because you can just summon, like, a, like, a 4,800 dude that can attack, like, a bajillion times. So you can just randomly kill from a lot of situations if you're able to play through their defense or if you can get rid of their defense or whatever. Uh, what you're going to see, you're going to see. We have Torrential here, but we get Trap Stunned. Our opponent is on some kind of whack Diva, Zombie, Diva, Hero combo deck, it looks like. Uh, we're not in a great spot, but we do just have Lethal with his current hand. And uh, we're not even going to summon the Proto Cyber, because I think you can just straight up substitute with, uh, with Overdragon. I think that's how that works. I, it doesn't seem to have the claws in it that Cyber Twin has. So I, I assume that you can just substitute the Light Hex. Uh, and if not, you could have just summoned the Proto. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can substitute the Light Hex with, with the Chimera Tech over Dragon. Uh, so we make a 4800 guy, and then we double it with Limit Removal. <laughs> it can attack both of them. So it just hits in for like... What, what? Like 6900 plus, plus 7200? So. Is that right? Yeah, so we just do like 14,000 damage to the opponent. <laughs> We just, we just slaughter them. We beat them this game. We almost, like, had double lethal or something. Yeah. Uh, so we go summon Consecrated. All right. We set Judgment. Now we just pitch Special Fortress. We're going to Judgment. And we're going to attack with the Fortress. Um. Yeah, this isn't fantastic because we get Stormed into Sidra. They do have to hit over the thing first. I guess, but it doesn't really matter, because they're just going to go main 2, summon Vanity's Fiend. So how do we deal with a Vanity's Fiend? With our current hand, we simply don't, and they drew brain control, so they're just going to go for a game. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Alright, game 3. Game 3, and we open with the Overload, which is uh, neat, because this card is a one-off. Uh, so we pitch Special Fortress Attack over. Alright, that's decent. Opponent's got plays. In fact, I think they're... Oh, no, they just tribute someone Vanity Fiend again. We can get rid of it this time, though, with the Warrior Lady. So we're kind of we're kind of good there. They draw Typhoon. That doesn't help. They go Instant Fusion Diva with the Steam Healer. Make Herbellum. Did they not have another Diva in deck? Why did they not use the Diva effect? That's a little fascinating. Um, but we drop Gores. I don't think you're supposed to show them the card that gets put back with Herbellum there, but uh, yeah, whatever. Whatever, we just pitch it to bring back Fortress anyway. Doesn't super matter. The opponent is going to survive with Gores. Um, but we're in a decent spot. We got Fortress. We got Eltonin. We got all kinds of stuff here. Opponent's going to go Stratos. Stack for Plague. Synchro. DDR. Oh, man, they're going off, actually. Pitch the Mali. Get the Mali. Make a level 8 Synchro. They go for Stardust Dragon so that they can hit over the Fortress. Um, they're going to steal the Gores. Yeah, actually, this is um, this would be rough if it weren't for the fact that um, the Eltonin is coming. The Eltonin is coming, and, uh, well, say goodbye to your entire field. Why did we do that? Are we just trolling? What was that? We, we just trunate our own card? Summon Eltonin. All right, well, the whole board goes. All of it goes. All, and we contribute. Wait, wait. We could summon Light Hex. We don't have a Cyber Dragon. If you have a Cyber Dragon, I think you can tribute to Summon Twin with this guy. It's weird, because you can Summon Twin with this thing's effect, but you can't eat substitute it for Twin Dragon, if that makes sense. But with it on the field, we can substitute it for Cyber Dragon, I think. And then we make the Chimera Tech Over Dragon with, what, four materials, attack directly for 3,200. Opponent had a kind of crazy turn there, though. They went off. They went off for real, but we went off back at him with Chimera Tech Over Dragon again. So that was uh, Cyber Dragons, just pure Cyber Dragons. Next up, we've got Amoeba, which I presume that this deck was inspired by Zuxid. 
Pretty sure he had a deck that was similar to this, but Zuxid's build obviously also played Sasuke Samurai and focused more on that, whereas this is, uh, I guess, pure amoeba, I think. <laughs> uh, so if you don't know what amoeba does, when you shift control of it to the opponent, they lose 2,000 life points. So <laughs> you could turn it into a really crappy burn spell with creature swap. Wait, 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 wait. They just solemned the, the, the creature swap. That's more damage than you would have taken, dude. And then we have Mystic Box anyway, so we still give them the amoeba. And then we summon Cyber Dragon attack for game over that. We just like amoeba OTK'd them. They just got amoeba OTK'd. How do you come back from that? <laughs> How do you come back from getting amoeba OTK'd in game? Well, let's find out. It looks like we're on Kinka Bio as well. Kinka Bio, Kinka Bio. What is this card actually called? Insane that we didn't crow that tuning where. It's a good thing they didn't have a machine duplication. Crow is really good against this machine dupe quick draw thing. For sure. Uh, all right, we mill more with card trooper. We have an amoeba now down in the graveyard, so we can we can bring it back with the Kinkabu. Opponent's going to go for Cyber Valley, draw more cards, but it's like draw more cards for what in this, in this quick draw deck? They got an end phase pitch for hand size. Now they're specialing out the quick draw. Some of the Dark Sea Float, Dark Sea Rescue. There's a Dark Sea Float, right? It's just like worse. I think I think that's how it works. So they draw into their third Pot of Avarice. Well, when we crow this Pot of Avarice, we're gonna be in for uh, a surprise here. No, we just don't. We're just we're holding this crow for next game, I guess. All right, they attack. We're going to Mirror Force just to avoid damage, I guess. Legacy of Yada, just to get it out of the way. I don't know. We scoop. We scoop. We give it up. The Drill Warrior has, has overcome us. All right, game three. Can we make it happen? Opponent opens Quick Draw Dandy. That's pretty good. I think they probably just make Drill attack directly and then pitch one of these desynchros. Yep. All right. We mill Amoeba, though. Okay. So we have Amoeba in play with the Raikou. We get some nice pluses set Mirror Force. Hopefully they attack into this, but they probably won't. Never mind, they do. Of course they do. All right, we go T set. And now we're going to bring out the Amoeba. Activate Creature Swap. Give them the Amoeba. They take 2,000 life points. They're going to Mirror Force our... Uh, they're going to Mirror Force the Kink Abu, which is great because it also means the Amoeba gets removed from play. All right, we summon a new Raikou. Raikou, their back row. Typhoon going to be chained. It takes out our Mystic Box, but we've got another one. We Caius our own card just to hit for 24. Um, to be fair, it was a Dandelion, so when it went to the grave, they were going to get tokens, I guess, which isn't great. They go Stardust. We can't Mystic Box the Stardust, though. However, what we can do is just drop Sork. Also, we could have dropped Dad, but we we just chose not to. Or maybe, I, I don't know. Why didn't we drop Dad? Seems like you should have dropped Dad. Whatever, it's still, like, it's super Jover a million ways here. Uh, so, Amoeba OTK. Amoeba, well, Amoeba. Amoeba Combo, Amoeba Control, Amoeba Turbo. I don't have a good name for this deck. We'll just call it Amoeba. Next up, we have... Ninjas? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's Ninja Cat. I, I do believe that was what was said. So they're going to dust shoot us, but we reveal, aha, our hand is full of bad monsters, so what are you even going to take? <laughs> what are you even going to take off that dust shoot? We can't beat the 1800 vanilla. And we are taking a lot of damage here. All right, what do we do? Brain control the warrior lady. That means we can out their field. And then we set what is presumably one of, one of our um, rescue cat targets, but I don't know what this guy is or why we have it. I do know we're about to resolve a fat, heavy storm. And then summon Strike Ninja, and then attack. I don't believe the Strike Ninja is even live. Opponent draws Prime Mat, which is just like a terrible dead draw for them. <laughs> we're hitting in for tons of damage, and they have to find something here. What will they draw? Starlight Road. Starlight Road MVP as usual. <laughs> alright, alright. They got Sark for Few Few plus Dust Shoot, though, so, I mean, that's that's rough to deal with. It looks like we are, in fact, playing Ninjutsu Art of Transformation. So I guess this is some kind of Simorg pile. I presume that's what we're doing here. Uh, yeah, well, that, that kind of confirms my suspicion here. Why did we... Okay, we just run over the Warrior Lady. They try to activate Future Fusion, but they can't. 
because the Drago is on the field still. What do we do? What do we do? We draw Rhoda. We go Monk, Spell, Cat. Let's see what this Cat play actually does. All right, we're getting the Archfiend guy. Now we go for Power Tool Dragon. Go for three copies of the Symbols of Duty. Symbols of Duty is going to revive literally anything we want. But of course, we're going to get the Cat so we can use Cat again. Now we get to this thing. Why is it this? Is it the only level 3 Beast Vanilla or something? I don't know. We're going for Brianak, though. And we pitched our Samorg? Couldn't we have summoned this Samorg? Why didn't we summon the Samorg? I, I don't know. We get in for big damage. The opponent can't actually do anything proactively with his hand. They can just activate Future Fusion and... Uh, activate Solidarity, that makes it not big enough still, but they can go for Exploder. Exploder can take out the Brianak. However, we are going to resolve another Power Tool Dragon search here. Going for three... How many Equip Spells are in here? <laughs> oh man, we're going to revive our Dark Samorg, summon Strike Ninja, and then we can like go for game here if we Ninjutsu Art of Transformation... Is that, yeah, that should work. We can get a second Samorg out of our deck and just attack for 2,700. Well, that's the first time I think we've seen Ninjutsu Art of Transformation resolve in Edison format, so that's definitely something new. So that was Ninja Equip Cat. Crazy. Okay, final replay we have is a real short one. Um, but it is a neat deck. I might even want to try this out. I think it's got some cool stuff going for it. We got um, Mausoleum Stun. There are some crazy two tribute monsters in this format. The problem is, like, getting two tribute monsters out is hard. You know, the the best way to do it is frogs, but it's if it's frogs, it's like, why aren't you just playing more monarchs, probably, or something? Uh, the opponent just, like, straight up loses to Christia in game one, by the way. They just straight up lose to Christia because they're playing Dragon Turbo and they didn't have an out, so I, I guess... <laughs> This is this deck's really good versus Dragon Turbo. You just like summon a lad with Mausoleum, they lose. <laughs> that's like that's literally game over. Uh, I don't. I think it is pretty cool having all these like level eight crazy monsters, and then you just like play trade ins with them and stuff. You could even shove like Gear Town, Gadgetron. Also, Vanity's Ruler. That card's that card's crazy too. So I think it's a unique idea. They're also playing Necro Valley, which isn't that fantastic versus Dragon Turbo. I guess it stops avarice and debris so that's like okay but it's kind of eh. we're going to go for terraform see here's where gadgetron i think would be very very good if you're going to be playing triple terraformings and all these field spells uh also this is not a legal play you can't pay 1000 to only one tribute a guy i that's not how that works i mean i yeah you're winning anyway with vanity's ruler if you just tribute the cyber dragon as well so i guess it's like not a big deal but yeah, that's not that's obviously not a thing you can do. So we shouldn't have the Cyber Dragon right now. We should have a thousand more life points, but the opponent can't play the game because they're under Vanity's ruler, because this deck just absolutely obliterates this poor Dragon Turbo player. So I thought it was a neat idea to uh to include throw in at the end of the video. Might try it. Might give it a shot. Uh yeah, that's gonna be it for today. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the comments section. I'll see you next time. As always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Furthermore, if you enjoy my content, you should think about becoming a channel member. You get access to tons of bonus content, and it's a great way to help support the channel.